Hello singing friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. Today is January 21st, 2022, and as you can see, I'm in my pajamas. I'm just about ready for bed, but I wanted to pop on and do a little tribute to Meatloaf, who passed away today at the age of 74. So Meatloaf is, is kind of near and dear to my heart. My mom really loved him and used to play his music all the time when I was growing up. So I've kind of listened to a lot of his music vicariously. And I also really love the movie, The Rocky Horror Picture Show, in which of course he is Eddie. <laughs> so I do have a soft spot in my heart for Meatloaf. And my patron, James Pratt, reached out to request the song, Two Out of Three Ain't Bad. And he said that he first heard that song when he was 18 years old. And so it is very special and significant for him. For those of you who don't know Meatloaf, he was born Marvin Lee Aday in 1947. He's an American singer and actor. He has a very powerful, wide ranging voice and very theatrical live shows. And he's actually also been in some musical theater performances on Broadway as well. His Bat Out of Hell trilogy of albums, Bat Out of Hell, Bat Out of Hell 2, Back Into Hell, and Bat Out of Hell 3, The Monster Is Loose, have sold more than 65 million albums worldwide, and the first album is one of the best-selling albums in history. Most of you probably have heard the song, I would do anything for love, anything you've been dreaming of, but I just won't do that in which he never specified what exactly he would not do for love but there have been many wild theories <laughs> floated about <laughs> today i'm going to be reacting to the song that james requested two out of three ain't bad before we jump in here my usual notes i will be pausing at least once in the playback but i will put the link to the uninterrupted video in the description box below if you want to listen to the song without my interjections. I'll also put the links to how you can get me to react to an artist or song of your choice and how you can take my online self-paced courses in either vocals or piano. All right, so without further ado, let's jump in here and check this out. I'm just gonna pause it there for a moment so I don't get blocked or flagged. So the things that I, really appreciate about meatloaf are there's something that's like so earnest about his delivery you know like i really believe everything that he sings and i think that there are like i think the line i'm crying icicles instead of tears like you could look at that and say well that's like pretty cheesy you know but he sells it because he is so earnest and you really believe what he's singing that he really feels it you know and so it works for me the other thing is he has such a powerful voice and I often think that there is, you know, something to be said for having a larger body and having a bigger voice. You know, obviously you can have a very powerful voice and be a very slight person, <laughs> but I think it helps to have like a big imposing physical presence and there is a power that comes with that, you know, and he just has such a strong voice and you can tell that he's singing with that connection, like right to his gut, you know, there's nothing that's like between his voice and it coming out, you know, like it's just like this pure uninterrupted flow. He feels it in his gut and he sings it and his voice just comes out and it's so powerful. So those are the things that I really, really love about that. Plus, I think the hook to this song is amazing. You know, I've never really spent the time to really closely analyze the lyrics of the rest of the song, but that hook is just so catchy and so good. Two out of three ain't bad. I think everybody's probably heard that line, you know? And he just had such a gift for writing those perfect, really sticky hooks. So it's really interesting to like pay close attention to the rest of the song, you know, because I've never really even thought about it. And when I think about like being a woman in a relationship and somebody telling me, I want you, I need you, but I'll never love you. I mean, oh, that's like, ah, oh, it's like twist the knife. You know what I mean? Maybe two out of three ain't bad, but who doesn't want love? I mean, I, I want to be wanted, but that feels utilitarian. I want to be 
needed, you know, or want it, being wanted sounds like lust, you know, and then being needed sounds utilitarian, but love is something that's so much deeper. So yeah, two out of three, but it's not exactly two thirds. It doesn't really translate. Love is so much more weighty than the other two, in my opinion. So that's how I feel about listening to the lyrics now. Beautiful. So I love how theatrical he is in his delivery. You could just see that he was like made for Broadway, you know? And I think he's a really, really good narrative storyteller. You know, I usually don't really like literal lyrics, but I love the the flow of this story. And it really does tell a good story. This could really be a story on a page. So I love the lyrics. I think they're great. And it paints such a great picture. He goes from hurting this woman that he's with and saying, I could never love you to saying, this is the way that my true love who left me in the past, what, what she said to me, I'm now saying to you, you know? So it's kind of like this cycle of uh, pain, you know? It's like hurt people hurt people, as they say. I can totally see this being a realistic situation where somebody has their heart broken and they can never move on from that lost love and then they can't open themselves up to a new person because they're still hung up on this memory. And you feel for both people in this situation. I could imagine like how sad it was for him to be jilted and to have that pain in his heart forever and how sad it is for his current woman that he's with to tell her I can never fully love you and I'm still hung up on my ex you know <laughs> so it's just like pain all around you know it's a very moving narrative and I love the song structure I love the way that it ends with that breakdown like it began and the harmonies are great the piano is beautiful and I just I really really love the power in his voice and the earnestness and how it feels like it comes right from his gut you know you really believe what he's saying so I think it's a great performance a great song and he really was a phenomenal artist and he just wrote amazing, great songs. And that hook has been in my brain even though I never really fully appreciated the lyrics before now to the rest of the song. That two out of three ain't bad is such a good hook. It's like great songwriting and great delivery. So I really enjoyed it. I hope that you enjoyed my reaction, James, and I'll see you guys here next time. Rest in peace, Meatloaf. And until I see you guys next time, take care. And of course, happy singing. Bye.